I am allowed to let you all know that Forest Hill is going to be published in French. Salut à tous, j'espère que vous allez bien. Aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour une vidéo assez spéciale et c'est la première fois que je tente cette expérience et je suis très contente de l'avoir fait. J'ai eu la chance de rencontrer l'autrice du manoir de Lex Edge grâce à Stardust qui s'appelle Lindal Clipston. Et du coup vous aurez accès à une petite interview de elle qui va vous parler de son livre et c'était sous forme de book club du coup on était vraiment nombreuses autour de la table, d'où le fait qu'on va entendre pas mal de voix. J'ai tout sous-titré donc vous inquiétez pas pour ça. Voilà, donc en tout cas elle était super sympa, j'ai même eu une dédicace euh, que je vous montre, enfin qui est à la fin de la vidéo. Voilà, sinon je voulais vous parler, vous prendre 5 secondes, vraiment 5 secondes, pour vous parler de mon t-shirt que je porte actuellement, une marque spécialisée dans les vêtements livresques qui est venue me contacter pour me demander de faire une collaboration avec eux. Et du coup voici le t-shirt, il est enfin sorti. Euh, là je vous parle, il sort demain, mais la vidéo quand elle sortira, vous aurez plus qu'une journée pour l'acheter. Donc c'est un petit rappel, hein. c'est une vente qui dure que deux semaines. Et du coup, ceci est mon petit rappel. Voilà le logo pour ceux qui savent pas. Ça peut vous faire penser à Velaris, ça peut vous faire penser à la Paramount, euh, genre je sais rien. Voilà, en tout cas moi c'est un, un logo que j'ai designé avec euh, ma cousine. Voilà, j'espère que vous allez être tenté, que vous allez l'acheter. Parce que même s'il y a mon prénom, en vrai, on retire, le logo est quand même très stylé. Voilà. <rire> Bref, maintenant tout ça pour dire que euh, c'est l'heure de votre interview avec euh, Linda Clipston en espérant que ça vous fasse euh, apprécier le roman et peut-être ça vous donne envie. Voilà. Bonsoir, thank you for having me. Um, I'm so excited to be here and talk to you about it, which is my very first book that I've ever written. So it's the story of a girl called Violetta who goes to stay at haunted Lake Sedge estate and when she falls in love with the monster of Lake Sedge and um, discovers that he's cursed, she decides to make a bargain with the Lord of the Dead to try and save him. What was your inspiration for uh, this book? Part of it was that I really loved sort of fairy tales and I wanted to write a book that felt a bit like a fairy tale. And it made me think a little bit about Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. yeah. I'm really inspired I, from those two. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I really love the French Beauty and the Beast maybe when I was little watching um, the Disney Beauty and the Beast and I was so disappointed when he turned into a princess. <laughs> joke that this is like the book for people who are like me and they wish the Beast had stayed a Beast <laughs> instead of turning into a prince. And how many times did you take for writing this book? It's hard to say because I started it, it was a, like a short story that I wrote um, when I was in university so I'd always sort of thought I'd like to come back to it and make it into a longer book. When I sat down to draft it, I think it was maybe like a year, six months of writing. When did you start uh, like writing? I think I've always really loved to write. And then I kind of stopped for a while because I had two children. So when my children were very small, I didn't have time to do much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when they got a little bit older, I had a little bit more time and I really wanted to try writing again, so... I have to ask, which character is your favorite and why? Um, I think it's really hard to choose a favorite. I think Rowan is probably the one who is most like me. And do you have some other uh, writing projects? I have a book coming out at the end of this year in English mm -hmm. called okay. Unholy Terrors. It's about uh, which trope? Um, very much an enemies to lovers. So yeah. The main character is um, part of like this sort of sect that hunt, hunts monsters. Um, but her mother was like a traitor and ran away and died <laughs> out in the like <laughs> monster lands. So she goes out to try and find what happened and okay. then she has to team up with one of the monsters to get help. Mm. On Lake Sage, what was the most difficult part to write? Um... So the most difficult part was actually the ending yeah. and like how her bargain with him would work because I went through so many different versions. This is your first time in Paris? Um, my second time, but the first time I came was about 15 years ago. I saw in your story you are, you are a big fan of Sartre. Um, so I ha it's kind of a funny story. I have this biography which was actually written by an Australian author which was about his like romance with de Beauvoir. Um, and so when I knew I was coming here, I was like, oh, I'm going to read it again and we'll go to Café de Flore. <laughs> <laughs> and we might go to like Mont Montparnasse. 
cemetery mm. and see like their graves as well, I guess. So I'm sure my children will have like the best time. <laughs> but I just love Paris and France in general. Like it's such a beautiful city. The buildings are gorgeous and it's really lovely. I'm glad I got to come back. Mm. Do you have a writing routine? A little bit. <laughs> so I, um, it really depends what I'm doing because sometimes I work better at night. Sometimes I work okay. better in the morning, but usually I take my children to school and then come home and sort of get ready for the day. But other times I find like I really focus better at night. So after everybody's had dinner and settled down, I'll maybe have like a glass of wine and sit mm -hmm. with like a candle and my laptop and work. Do you have a recommendation for like a romance book and a fantasy one? Mm -hmm. Like which one is your favorite? Of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually staying with a friend in Italy at the moment before I came over here and she wrote a book which is out in the UK called With Fire in Their Blood and that's about um, a girl who goes to stay in a small Italian town and then finds out that she has forbidden magic powers and she has to team up with like um, a boy that she has like a mysterious connection to to try and figure things out so I really really love that book I loved the book before we were friends and that was sort of partly why we became friends because I read the book and I'm like I love this so much <laughs> Comme on se retrouve Voilà, on se retrouve après euh, la fin de cette vidéo. J'espère que ça vous a plu. J'espère que ce petit format, ce nouveau format d'interview vous plaît. Moi, écoutez, j'ai passé un moment super fun. Et j'espère surtout avoir l'opportunité de le faire avec d'autres autrices. Euh, voilà. Moi, je vous fais de gros bisous et je vous dis à la semaine prochaine. C'est ciao mmh.